Hi guys, in this small video I'm going to show you uh, the content compiler feature of SEO Content Machine. Basically this feature I recommend that it's only used for tier 2 and tier 3 content because the output it produces is uh, not always readable or at least even if it's readable it's still obvious that it's uh, software generated which in my opinion is inevitable for any piece of software. Basically what Content Combiner does is it it takes articles from locations that you have specified and examines their content. Basically these have to be folders with txt files in them with an article in each txt file and what it does is it identifies the different paragraphs in each article and then uses them to create new articles. So if you have, for example, uh, 10 articles in a folder and they each have 5 paragraphs, then you have a total of 50 paragraphs. Then how those 50 paragraphs will be used depends on the settings you specify here. First you have to specify how many paragraphs you want per article. Usually you want about 5 since a paragraph is usually about 100 words and a piece of content that you're submitting for links should be around at least 450 words to make sure that it will be accepted. You can preserve paragraph order which means that only the paragraphs which are the first paragraphs of each article will show up as the first paragraph and the second ones as the second and so on. Uh, this might make the articles more unique, uh, sorry not more unique but uh, more readable but it will limit the number of different combinations of the article paragraphs that you can use. So it's a matter of personal preference whether you want uh, more uniqueness or better readability although in my opinion if you're doing this task then you probably don't care that much about readability in the first place but still it's a nice feature to have so so now you have an article with five paragraphs and you have to specify the number of variations of each paragraph if we continue the example with 50 paragraphs 10 articles with 5 paragraphs which equal 50 paragraphs then the maximum number of paragraphs variations that you can specify here is 10 but to do that you must make sure that you have at least 50 paragraphs otherwise you're not going to get enough content and here you can specify the number of articles you generate in this case if you have 50 paragraphs and you have five paragraphs in a generated article with 10 variations you can only generate one unique article uh, personally I don't need to uh, generate more than one article I prefer to generate one article with many variations which will result in a output which can be used for many more submissions with a higher uniqueness percentage than if you for example say he, that you have only five variations and two articles basically the the level of spin is will be inferior in this case so it's better to leave it this way the slight disadvantage of this approach is that you will need more processing power to be able to generate not you but your pieces of software of link building software to be able to generate articles from uh, such a long spin tax file but in case you have a good PC then that's not an issue and if you don't then if you're wondering whether your PC is strong enough then by all means experiment but keep in mind that the more variations you have and the less articles you have the better it will be eventually so it's time to add a folder and I have prepared this one and I'm going to specify an output folder like that so here you can define how to end and start a line basically if you want to have some HTML code here you can enter it you can use it like that um, 
I don't think that's useful actually. It might be, but I never found it to be useful. So you can either add it as a task to run later or you can run it immediately. And it's done quite fast. And now I have a huge article which can now result in many more instances than if I hadn't mixed them up together. This is what this feature does. Thanks for watching.